Nice. What in a check fire We are on our way out of the hotel. We are going on an adventure. Well, we're just going exploring. So it's uh, day one here and we're going to figure out what we're going to be doing for the next eight to nine days. <laughs> she? Huh? She? Yes. <laughs> Yummy. <sorry. laughs> so give us a definition of what yum means in Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Mm. What is a uh, politically correct saying? Yum. Vietnamese is very attracted to another person. Very attracted to very another attracted person. To, well, you're thinking that other person is very attractive. No, right? the meaning no. is you are sexually attracted. aroused. Oh, you're not allowed to say that. <laughs> but that is the meaning. <laughs> Anyways, so in, in Vietnam, they don't like it when you say the word yum in reference to food. It has to be yummy. 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 Look at these difference. funny cups. I mean glasses. Look at the front. Oh. <laughs> so we just got our kai whanau. Here is our breakfast. We chose the American style breakfast. Sausage, eggs and we got some salad and some toast. Obviously, you can see the portions have changed. Yes, yes, we're in a different part of the world now and uh, smaller portions. But that's probably better because we have eaten so much food. Hard. Yeah. We can't buy day. That's the Jang Salon Mall. Oh, and we're going into O Top Fair. Have a look around. Mall stores. Here is some of the beauty, Fano. Look at that. We're hitting the beach. A bit of the traffic there. Let's go across this road. Yeah, Fano Katong Beach. I see white sands.
to this place over here. Mainly because uh, we just saw they had water. So uh, we stopped and then we sat here and then we saw the menu and we're like, oh, I want to grab a chicken burger and a french fry and a coke as well. So, Mike just went swimming, that's why he's naked. We can walk around, but we like this. Uh, we can still see the beach, so these are actually still togs. But as soon as we can't see the beach, then they're going to be called undies. <laughs> undies, undies, talk, talk. Hey, kia ora So, we just booked two tours. Uh, you're going to be seeing them soon, one on the 29th and one on the 31st before the new year. But so watch the space, we got it from this lady here. We'll see if we have to recommend her after we go. Yes, we've had some good experiences and some not so good experiences when it comes to tour guides. So hopefully, oh well, we're, we're quite confident that we'll be able to recommend uh, these people here for you too. Kilda. We're out of that flipping mall and we found the market. The market that everybody's referred to us, which gives you a huge mall to find it. Uh, even Inemanu, our good friend there, she told us this is a place to be. So we found it, we're in our, we're in our safe haven now, ready to buy some food for dinner. Oh. Look at this guy trying to cross the road with his um, cart full of beers. Teddy bears. <laughs> Let's see how he gets across. Or he doesn't. It's not a car park, though. At least the traffic here isn't as hectic as it is in Vietnam. There are a little bit more rules, but not as many as home. Oh, go bro, go bro. Oh no, it's not his turn. I don't know whose turn it is. Oh, crossing's turn maybe? Oh, they're turning. I see. I see what's up. Hoon in it. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh. Oh. And he 